We are at a Lindner stand and uh, in front of the candidate of the machine of the year 2020, the uh, Lintrack 130. And we are with David, uh, one of the manager of the brand. So David, uh, first of all, please introduce yourself and uh, the Lindner brand. And then we will talk about this uh, candidate tractor. Yeah, my name is David Lindner. I'm responsible for marketing and exports at Lindner Tractors. We are a family business company from Austria, uh, from Tyrol, from the Alpine region, and we're building uh, tractors specialized in steep hill, uh, steep hill uh, farming since over 70 years. Uh, we're standing in front of the Lintrack 130. This is the newest and biggest uh, Lintrack model that we offer. Lintrack is a unique concept where uh, we have a tractor with uh, four-wheel steering. We have a very powerful uh, CVT transmission that is produced by ZF uh, in Austria. And we have a Perkins engine. Uh, we need the high torque of this engine to be able to work on the steep hills of all mountain regions. Uh, What's the torque number? It's a 530 Newton meters. We have a 136 horsepower machine, four cylinder machine uh, in this tractor. We have a very powerful uh, hydraulic system. Uh, you can choose between 88 and 100 liter of uh, hydraulic power, but we have a variable uh, hydraulic pump. So this hydraulic power is available, uh, available at very low uh, motor rot rotations. So you just need 1,600, uh, 1,700 RPM of the motor and you have the full hydraulic power. Um, the tractor looks um, a little bit compact but very powerful. Yeah. Uh, could you evaluate uh, in terms of uh, design? Yeah, the compactness is one of our specialities. We are a niche manufacturer and we concentrate on uh, greenland farming, grassland farming, on very steep hills, on municipal service and on uh, plantages like hops or wine or uh, fruits and vegetables and nuts. So we try to make our vehicles very compact, uh, very narrow, uh, very uh, low, uh, because we need this for, for the alpine regions. And uh, we discovered that these arguments that you have a very uh, powerful but small high quality tractor is also appreciated uh, in other markets. So, um, and also could you uh, evaluate in terms of user experience? Uh, you just mentioned CVT transmission, is there any other options? And also uh, what about the uh, use profitability? Yeah, we have, uh, introduced uh, the Lintrack 90 as the first Lintrack and uh, one of the highlights here on this stand at Agrotechnica is the Lintrack 90 with the serial number 1000. So we have quite a good experience with this CVT transmission uh, and we see more and more demand shifting from normal gearboxes to CVT transmissions. But we will always have a shifted alternative uh, at Lindner we call this GeoTrack, so our shifted uh, tractor models are called GeoTrack. Uh, then we have uh, the Lintrack after, as the CVT high professional uh, four-wheel steered uh, tractor. And then we have a transporter which is a, a special vehicle uh, for municipal service and for very steep hills uh, that can be shifted or with the CVT transmission. Uh, inside of the cap, it uh, looks very interesting, I think, many full of uh, buttons. So, uh, could you mention a little bit inside of cap? Yeah. Um, you see a lot of the buttons in the cabin, but you don't need a lot of them. So, normally, you step into the machine, you start it, and you just choose forward or reverse as the direction that you want to go. The next thing you do is you pull the throttle, or the brake. And that's all you need to do if you just want to drive. But we have very professional users and they want to adapt, adjust and fine tune all the hydraulic uh, steering valves or the four wheel steering system to their needs. So we have uh, multiple steering modes 
Uh, we have crab steering, we have normal four-wheel steering, we have a manual steering function. Uh, this is uh, something that you can shift with the buttons on the B-pillar. Uh, and then uh, we have a display in the in the machine where you can adjust everything you want from the hydraulic system to the equipments, the PTO and a lot of functions uh, that you are using in a professional way. But the, the first thing is a very simple configuration, a base configuration that every farmer, no matter if old or young, understands uh, from a, a logical perspective and then for the professional users you have a lot of possibilities to adjust everything that you wanna uh, wanna use in, in the in the field. I think I saw a video on the screen a uh, operator of um, the main tractor use an application and the other tractor follows the main tractor uh, am I right uh, is it possible now? Yeah this was an experiment that we did two years ago together with uh, ZF where we tried out was what is possible with autonomous driving in the Greenland farming agricultural uh, business. And uh, we tried this application, uh, we called it TrackLink Pilot, where uh, one tractor is following the silhouette of another tractor and it is initialized with an app. Uh, it also was able to repeat uh, several working functions, uh, but nowadays we don't have the matching legislation so it is not allowed to let a tractor drive auto uh, autonomously but we took a lot of know-how out of these studies out of these prototypes so what you can have now is uh, we call it tracklink smart it is a system that identifies all the equipment on the tractor so it automatically checks okay it is a mower in the front it is maybe a trailer in the back and it can automatically adapt all the hydraulic flows, the drive mode, the PTO, uh, to the optimum uh, of the equipment that is needed. So this is a very useful function uh, that automizes the adjustment functions. Uh, and so also people that are not highly professional users uh, can work in a highly professional way with the perfect configuration of every equipment. Uh, this is one small part of this study of the, of the tracking system that we did some, some years ago. Thank you very much for your participation. Thank you very much and uh, enjoy the Agrotechnica.